It's race day here at Caraway Speedway. All right, guys, Smart Tours here. My buddy Caleb Eddie's here. At the Open Wheel Warriors 100 at Caraway Speedway. It is round number two for us in our season, and we are currently second in points. A lot of confidence after last week, of course, it being my second time in the car. A little bit more confidence behind the wheel. But we're starting on the pin here tonight. It's the first pole in a very long time to be on asphalt, but I promise we're going to make the most of it. It's a race day, baby! That's what they do! <laughs> yeah. You won, baby! Woo! Let's get spiked! <laughs> To catch all the exciting racing action live this season, subscribe to CarawaySpeedway.tv today. Baldwin. Yep, the teenage sons Luke and Jack in Tommy Baldwin's number seven cars. And those are good race cars. We'll see what those young men can do with them. And uh, shout out to Justice Calabro, a star in the Legends cars, hopped in Carlos Gray's uh, 602 Modified, finished on the podium near Caraway Speedway Sunday. That's another young man to watch. And the talented third generation driver, Jackson Casper in that 47 car. Alan, I don't know who to watch, man. There are so many that could win this one. Uh, but Justice Calabro has got the hang of it fast. He is starting on the point tonight, and we're looking for the green flag as they hit the affordable RV restart zone, and we are racing 602 modified. Justice gets the jump on the inside lane of, of Jackson Casper, and uh, Casper is going to try to catch up one of the uh, Baldwin cars down there on the top side. The late road back to turn number one. He'll drive the car down the low side against the paint, but it is a side-by-side, -side, wheel to wheel, door-to-door -door battle for second and third. The car was an absolute rocket, and we were checked out. Plenty of time for the fastest qualifier, Josh Louder, to try to reel in your leader, Justice Calabro, who again, a, a shootout star of the Legends cars. Carlos Gray, a veteran, putting him behind the wheel, this number 16, giving this young man a great race car. He is the California kid. He is cool as a cucumber out front in that number 16 car. He has got about a half a straightaway. It was smooth sailing for the first 10 laps, but coming through the field was the fastest qualifier, the veteran, Josh Lauder. But here comes Josh Lauder barreling out of turn number four. Who was now on my bumper. Challenge for the lead. Josh Lauder went up under Calabro. For the next 15 laps, we kept the lead and held off the attacks. Oh, Louder got into the 16 car that time. Justice trying to hold off the veteran. The string of cautions were triggered by the 63 of Louder leaking fluid on the track. Matt sent him to the garage. And now with 15 to go, leading the race, a neglected call changed what would have been a perfect day. The 11 of Jeremy Gershner lined up next to me in P2. And before the pace car had cleared the field, the 11 had already launched and was an entire car length ahead at the start finish. I worked to get around him for the next couple of laps, but he was throwing some pretty heavy blocks. That allowed the 47 of Casper to sneak underneath us. And unfortunately, the contact from the aggressive driving took away the handling from the car. He has got a handful of that loose car. And we fell back to finish in third. California kid delivers once again. California kid, man. You uh, you had a chance to get up front there, mix it up a little bit. Great race. Uh, probably did a little bit of learning tonight. Definitely a lot learned. I'd like to say something to all the fans in the stands here right now. Look to your neighbor and 
Think of something to be grateful for, because we all have a tremendous amount to be grateful for in this life, and for me to have the opportunity to be here tonight in front of all of you, to put on a great show, even though sometimes things don't go the way we always expect or would hope, we still have a lot to be grateful for in this world. And I'm damn grateful that, that I got to drive that 316 Carlos Grant machine here tonight, sponsored by Infusion Church. I'm damn grateful I got to be here in front of all you incredible fans tonight. Thank you all so much for coming. Please come back and visit us here again at Caraway Speedway because I promise you that won't be the case again. I guarantee you I'll get him in the box next time and I'll be standing in victory lane. Dustin's delivering a message to the 602 field. He won't let that happen next time, Alan. He learned a little something tonight. We got more racing coming up, man.